Hi, I'm Margaret Welch Paul, and this is my module for math video. And we have we did a problem last week for our class, and two thirds plus one half does not equal three fifths. There's a misconception here. And what happened with this particular problem is we saw this add sign here, and our students went three plus two equals five, two plus one equals three-fifths. Well, we know that that is not right. What we are going to do is we're gonna go over the um, rules of adding and subtracting fractions with different denominators or unlike, they're not the same, and our two-thirds, the number on the bottom, is going to be our denominator. That's what we're worried about. The number on the top is going to be the numerator. And we do know that we're going to have to rewrite this problem. And we're going to have to find a common denominator. And this is an easy mistake that most students do make. Students see the symbol and they automatically process. And what they are not paying attention to is the fact that there's the denominator is not the same. They're not alike. So that means that there's an additional step that we have to take. So we're gonna, as a teacher, I'm gonna go back over the rules with you. We are uh, gonna work some problems together. I've given you some new manipulatives so that we can work this same problem. And before we worked with a number line, um, but we are actually gonna work with pizzas today. And I want my class to understand that the numerator and denominator spots on fractions are not whole numbers. They are a portion or a piece of a whole number. And we will see that with the pizza. Um, and this is a normal problem that people realize, um, just thinking that it's an adding and subtracting problem, but it is not. But we're gonna add, once we have a common denominator and we write, rewrite that problem, we are going to add and subtract. And then if we need to, we will simplify it. But we do know that two thirds plus one half does not equal three fifths. So we're gonna do it with pizza. Who wants some pizza? And if you've been in any classroom or lunchroom on pizza day, you know how excited students are to have pizza. And this is my little cheat sheet here of what I'm doing with, with my students. This is my whole pizza. This is a pizza that's divided into two, divided into four, eight equal, and 16 equal slices. And these are the pizzas that we are gonna work with. And each student has a um, pack of pizzas. So they have gonna go to their desk and we're gonna work this together. And we have got a problem here and we've gotta figure out how to solve it. So we've gotta come up with a common denominator. And when I was growing up, I was always told that two and three, what they have in common, if you multiply them, they've got six in common. And we do know that we could probably divide a pizza into six. So let's start with six and see if we have to go up or down with that. But we're gonna do a little problem solving here and we're gonna see if we can get that to work. So we've got two thirds. So let's get my two thirds here on my pizza plate. All right, another two thirds. And then we are going to put one sixth on top of it, just like we did with our number lines. And look at that. So two one sixth equals one third. So what if we add and finish up? Oh my goodness, four. Four, we have four one sixes. So let's go ahead and do our problem. Four over six equals the same as two thirds. I love it, I love it, I love it. All right, now let's go and do our one halves. Let's do our one half. 
and we know that two-thirds is a little bit bigger than our one half so it's not going to take four so what do we think we think it might take will it take two mm, looks like it might it might take more than two what do you think i think so so what are you thinking class we're thinking three wow very good i love it all right guys what we've got here let's rewrite this problem that's going to be three so now that we have common denominators look at that they're the same they're like we can go ahead and add so four plus three equals seven and then we've got our common denominator six. Oh wow we've got this down now when we look at this we know that our whole pizza is six pieces so with that we look at our problem again we've got one whole pizza one whole oops one whole pizza plus one six look at that we have seven so we have one whole pizza plus one six all right i think you guys have done an excellent job with that now i am going to um, have a sheet of pizza fractions to go home for you to just kind of practice with but i want to make sure that we understand doing the den unlike denominators so what else do we like just as well huh birthday cake i love birthday cake and if i go to a party i sure want a piece of cake so let's make sure that we know how fractions work with our birthday cake looks pretty good and what i've done our little cheat sheet again is divided but I also went ahead and did it with the birthday cake so you could actually see the difference so this is a whole cake this is our half cake so let's do this with our birthday cake and see if we get the same answers because you know we said we had one half and our one half equaled we had three of them put our cake together okay we've got three right there okay we'll set that off to the side because we've got three and then on our two-thirds we said it was four let's double check to make sure tell you what cake sure looks good i like chocolate cake and it's going to be look at that it is going to be four wow so guess what we have four slices of cake and three more so guess what we have seven slices of cake guys you guys did very well and i think we have this concept down of adding and subtracting um unlike uh, denominators. I hope you enjoyed my video and I hope it helped.